This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. Welcome back. In this exercise, we're going to continue our exploration of the 3D features in After Effects by taking a look at lights. And working with lights is uh, kind of neat because uh, you get to play Hollywood director and just light a scene. But you can also use lights to add mood to uh, your work. You can use lights to call people's attention to things in the scene. And you can have a lot of fun with them. And to get yourself started, I want you to open up the lights.aep file located in your Lesson 12 exercise folder. And when the file opens, got a couple of things we need to do to get ourselves started. The first thing we need to do is to just trim off this clip. You notice there's a little bit extra room here at the end. Don't need it. We'll just pull the work area in right to there, but to the end of the clip. Composition, trim comp to work area. Now we've got seven seconds of comp area to work with, which makes things a little bit easier for all of us. Now that we've got the uh, work area dealt with, let's uh, also make sure that we're dealing with a 3D layer. So turn on the 3D switch for the layer. By the way, lighting only works if you've got 3D enabled in your layers. Uh, if you don't, you're going to get an error message when you go to apply a light. So just be aware of that one. Okay, so two places where you can apply lighting. Uh, the first place you can actually apply it as a layer right there, new. And you can see there's light right there. So you can apply a light there. Or you can actually come to the timeline, right click, new, light. And regardless of which way you go, you're going to get the light settings dialog box. And you can give the light a name. That's just going to be the layer name. You'll notice that you get all kinds of light types, parallel, spot, point, and ambient. We'll get into these in a couple of minutes. We're going to go through each one. You can choose the intensity of the light right here. You can scrub through it. You can make it bigger or smaller or brighter or dimmer. And you can change the color of the light. And you can even, if there are objects in there, does it cast shadows. Just click OK, and you will see that there is a light layer put on the timeline. See that little light bulb that tells you there's a light there, and you can rename it at any time. And then up here is your light. Now I'm going to zoom in here. This is the uh, parallel light right there. And you can see the direction of travel. And if I come in a little bit closer, there's the light source right there, that blue thing. And there is where the light shines. OK, so they all have a cone and they all have a point of interest. Now you can uh, change this very quickly inside the timeline. You don't need to uh, delete the light layer. All you do is you just open up the layer, light options, and there they are right there. And we're gonna choose a spotlight this time. And you notice that immediately the cone changes. There's the light area. It's almost like the light is sitting right here. It's reflecting off this and casting it this way, but it's focused right on that little point right there. Now, if you want to see, take a look at it, you can uh, come here to the active camera and you see all these views here. By the way, these are called orthogonal views. So if I go to custom view, you can see that the light is actually shining straight on to the chalkboard. And if I pull back, and go to Active Camera, you can see that I've opened up a lot more. Now, if you want to uh, do this yourself, all you got to do is just change it on the Z axis, you see? Okay, I'm going to undo that, Control Z or Command Z. I'm going to come back to the uh, Custom View 1. And again, watch. See, that moves to the point of interest. And if I want to move the position, I can play around with the Z position of the light. I can also change the orientation of the light. See, so I can sweep across here. So if you want to use a spotlight effect, for instance, you can simply do it by using the properties of you put a keyframe in orientation, and then let's come out to the three second mark. Whoops. I'm going to change a different property here. I'm going to change the Y property. Take it across. Sweep it across. There we go. And then we come back to six seconds. We can actually set this back to zero. And if we go back to active camera and deselect and come back here, you can see as we do that, the light will shine across. 
So there's a good way of putting lights in action and working with them. Okay, another light type, of course, is the uh, point light. And it's just this big old light that just shines away. And I can uh, diffuse the light, or I can take the diffusion down. And we'll take the uh, darkness down. There's no darkness for shadows here, but it's, you know, it's just a interesting light. There it is. There's the uh, point light. And you can even change the color of the light if you want. Let's go back to our uh, spotlight. And we'll change the light back to uh, a whitey color or a gray color. There we go. Now, other things that you can do with these is you can actually use them in conjunction with each other. So there's light one. We're going to duplicate the layer, Command or Control D. And the layer is duplicated. And if you twirl down light one and change it from spot to ambient, that lights up the scene. And what the ambient light is is sort of like the background light. So we'll just take that down just a bit. There we go. Do about 50%. And you can see that as the spot comes across, the ambient light is still there. And other things that you can do here is you can play with the color. So we'll go back to the zero. We'll just play with the ambient light. We'll just pick random colors. There's blue, blue ambient light. And three seconds in, it will be red ambient light. Maybe there's a, a diner in the uh, neighborhood or something. And then, of course, we'll just go back to the six second mark. And we'll change it back to white. And let's see what happens there. So we start blue. And you can see now it switches over to the red and then it comes back to the white. So you can play with ambient light, you can play with all these lights. So there you go, there's working with uh, lights. You can use these to light scenes and uh, call people's attention to stuff. And you can really have a blast with it. And speaking of a blast, let's go to Hollywood and uh, start playing with some cameras. And that's exactly what we're gonna do in the next exercise. I'll see you there.